Hi there, baby doll, baby cakes. So this is the total crypto market cap, and you can see that we did go up in the previous bull market, didn't we? We went up in 2017, and then we went down. We had another bear market. This is a log chart, by the way. So on a linear chart, you can see we swooped up. This is the total three, okay? You type in total three into TradingView. Total three is the market cap of altcoins. That's not including Bitcoin and Ethereum because Bitcoin and Ethereum are the blue chips now. So as you can see, this has had a very long bottom bottoming process down. And here's the thing, okay? You can't just go buy this index because you're not going to get the guaranteed big returns that you think about, all right? Because yes, sure, this thing went up and it went up quite big, but not really compared to the previous bull market if you think about it because this is a 14x, so this includes Cardano doing the 100x. This includes Doge, which did a 220x. This includes BNB. This includes those top tier coins inside this market cap here. But what it doesn't include is it does not include all the Whopper ones. And you know what's interesting? In the previous bear market, so from 2015 to 2017, you see how I did this measurement? It did a 15, 16x. Well, the previous one did a 300x, friends. And I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the total crypto market cap. Have a look at this from 2015, from the bottom, all the way to the top 300x. You know, I'm not making this up. If you bought the any average altcoin in the top 50 from here, literally every altcoin gave you 70x minimum. Isn't that crazy? So I hate to say it, but it's true. We are getting scammed over time. They are, there are diminishing network effects. There are diminishing growth rates. Don't believe anybody who says, Market cap doesn't matter. Valuations don't matter. Don't believe them. The whole industry is slowing down. And it makes sense. You look around you, everybody knows that crypto is mostly a casino. We know this, okay? It's not It's not like um, foreign to say this. We all know everybody's around here to get rich. And because they're here to get rich, they think about prices. If they are only here for the technology, they will pay whatever price. But if they're here to get rich, it changes the scope of the new people coming in. Now, thank you very much for liking and subscribing, pressing the bell button off, share with your friends and family. Friends, I would like to show you something. See, I got messaged by a few people and they asked me about the latest uh, database here on Crypto Banter Show. Now, Crypto Banter, great show, one of the biggest shows. Look, great for entertainment, but just be careful about following these things. I have deja vu because I'm going to tell, tell you right now, you're going to learn something today from me. So here is Ran and he made a list. He's talking about coins that existed in 2017 that did not make it. Now, of course, okay, I'm going to give Lan a likey here, boo as well. Look, of course, it's great to think about which coins are going to make it and not, right? It is important to think about this, but his, his filtering process can land you into very hot water. And I will tell you the deja vu experience I have because it reminds me of 2019 when I was fresh in crypto. So here he has a list. They did this, they did this homework and they show that 2017 tokens that broke the all-time high in 2021, as you can see. So, so 2017 coins that did it. But if you move over, we can see, right, this is decentralized in name only. That's what the dyno is. Tokens that have survived multiple cycles. Bitcoin, XRP, Doge, Litecoin, Ethereum. But here's the thing. Here's the final column, okay? He does a filtering process and he says, these have these are relevant tokens and these have a community, okay? So this is where it's going to get very dangerous for you. So you have Bitcoin. We know already diminishing gains hard, okay? Sorry, we ain't getting $300,000 Bitcoin. It's diminishing hard. Ethereum, everybody thinks $10,000 is programmed. No one will even concede that $8,000 is where we might stop. So it's super dangerous already, right? I'm going to tell you one thing right now, okay? So... Look, I'm going to use this perfect example, okay? Let's just, I'm going to, you're going to learn something today, friends. You see, this filtering process has nothing to do with price. So you automatically know it is very dangerous. Let me take you back to the early charts. I want to show you something. Let's say we existed, me and you, as friends in the year 2017. Me and you, we existed together. And we knew we had a, we had a crystal ball. Me and you, we had a crystal ball and we could see the future. And we knew that Ethereum, with our crystal ball here, we knew Ethereum was going to win the network effect. Me and you knew this. Here's the problem. The price of Ethereum here is $800. The price of Ethereum here is $1,000. Even when it went down, okay, even when it went down and it crashed. So this is where everybody thinks they're like super smarty pants, but they're full of it, okay? So Ethereum drops 75%. Think about this. Imagine, so you don't know what happens on the right-hand side, okay? This thing, which I told you, named Ethereum, is going to be a blue chip part of crypto. It's going to have the most developers. And it has dropped 
from 1400 down to 360. So it dropped 70, 75%, okay? Look at this, bang. So you now are going to think, oh, I know. I can buy it here at six to $700. It has recovered, right? Because it's going to win. Well, here's the problem, right? So you might have $700 to a $1,000 range. The problem is even though you are correct about the future, you were wrong about the price. Now, you might say, hello, my friend, Sami, but what do you mean wrong about the price? Because as far as I know, it went up. Okay, but think about this, okay? You buy Ethereum at $700. Up today, you're only up a 2.7x. Okay, how much did you make to the very, very top, which nobody got out of? You made a 7x on your money, and now you're up to 2.7x. So just be honest with me, okay? Does that sound like the return of somebody who picked the winning blue chip? No, those are trash returns. In fact, let me show you a coin called Waves. Waves is a pump and dump grift run by these really shady Russian dudes and they made this stable coin and it deep pegged and they do a lot of dodgy stuff. But here's interesting. Here's the interesting part, okay? If you bought Waves at the same time where Ethereum, let's say you literally had a crystal ball. Do you remember that example I told you? Ethereum is $700 to $900. That's this date here. If you bought Waves here, a literal scam, look how much you made to the top. You make an 8X. Look how much you made to the very top here. You made a 9X. Think about that. You literally made more money buying a scam in the previous bear market than getting Ethereum, all because you did not pay attention to the price, the discount from the high. So that's why when I'm talking about Rand going through this, um, this, this street, yes, theoretically and fundamentally, sure, it may sound correct, but in crypto, that is completely different to the outcome that you're looking for. Sounding correct is not good enough. You need a good price. You need network effects that people don't know about. That's what you need. People, people don't know about their potential. So I've shown you this example of Ethereum, right? Doge obviously won, but look at this thing. Here's where, if you don't respect my prophecies, unfortunately, they're going to come back to haunt you. Doge is now in its fourth cycle, okay? Doge is now in its fourth cycle curse. So is XRP. BNB, targeted by the SEC. Cardano, also in now entering its third cycle curse. So it's going to be... So it's also targeted by the SEC. So look at this, man. You can literally remove, remove, remove. Look at this list. Like we're going through this list. I mean, it's crazy. Doge, fourth cycle. I'm taking you out anyway. He even has he. I know this is not a typo. I know you're gonna crazy when you look it in, look into it. It is yes. It that does say Bitcoin Satoshi's vision. So he says EDX plus institutional narrative. EDX is the Citadel inside a banking cartel scum evil puppet wing of the Federal Reserve type of exchange. And look, I tell you right now, they these these like white collar type of people who like come in the, the snakes, right? The people who are the overlords, they think that people are actually going to come use their trash exchange. They can put as many laws as you want. I'm telling you right now, you already know. We want JPEGs, we want Ponzi's, we want Layer One gaming NFTs, we want the Ponzi casino, we want the lights, the flashy lights, we want the pump and dumps. We don't want to buy this absolute garbage. And if we don't want to buy it, the institutions ain't going to want to buy it either. Trust me, because the institutions, they need me and you. They need us as outsiders to drum up hype and they need us to dump on. So this BSV stuff, I mean, get it. It's, it's a joke here. I mean, if you want to show, I want to show you what I'm talking about, right? You can have, always have a look at the BSV, BTC ratio. And this is BSV to Bitcoin. So of course, look, of course, it's better to buy something down minus 96% than it is buying it on top. But just to show you, all right, just to show you. This was the most BSV could run in the previous bull market, 2x from the low. That's to show you what happened. So just think about this. With all the money printing and 0% interest rates and Doge and everybody buying silly stuff, people buying JPEGs, they still didn't want to buy BSV. That's just something to think about. And now we go back to the sheet. I want to show you again. Look at this. He has TRX. So TRX is Tron. Tron, unfortunately, is also now in its third cycle curse. And I have the Tron chart here. Of course, Tron, Tron went 100x from the ICO, first move. It did 100x. You can't see it right here. Then the next move pumped up here. But look, at the end of the day, this thing, look, even if this is starting to curl up, friends, even if it's starting to curl up, I look, no one's going to come in and buy this thing up. It's, its valuation is already huge. Tron's market cap is already $7 billion. And okay, look, I know we're talking about market caps and you might get a bit confused or you might get a bit tilted, but put down the water pistol, please. I'm trying to help you. Look at this, okay? Just because... You see this and it sounds right. It sounds like, oh, there's a com there's a community and there's a token. I'd like, you I'd like you to know something, all right? Most people already 
know about Tron. They already know about Justin Sun. They've had two cycles to learn about him. The third cycle is not going to be some super hyper wave. There was only one exception. You already know this coin. Have you heard of a coin called Doge? This was the only exception. Thank you very much for liking and subscribing to my channel, friends. Here I am to show you. Put on a log chart, you can see. Elon Muskrat. The Muskrat started shilling Doge. It did a, yes, that is a 280X. This is the exception. It is not the rule. This was the third cycle, yes, but this is not normal. You see, most of the time you had a pump, wave one, wave two, Wave three was probably supposed to stop here, but wave three actually went bigger. Why? But you had the world's most popular person forcing this. You're not going to get this with these other coins, or it's very unlikely to. So on average, the third cycle is a poopy. And you can even see this with other coins. If I show you XRP, which is also on the list, you can see this as well, right? XRP, right? Cycle one, come in. Cycle two, look at this cycle three. Of course, people are going to say X. SEC or whatever, but we already know XRP was too big. No one is, no one's got a strong libido or no one's licking their lips for payment solutions. It's just not sexy anymore. Payment solutions narrative was a 2017 narrative. And as you can see, XRP was rewarded for it, 500X. It's just unfortunate people buying it now for this XRP narrative for the SEC. I hope they beat the SEC. I really do. But it's something to think about. And so as well, here we can cross out Tron. He has Aave and Maker. Of course, they have communities to make cash, but at the end of the day, no one's going crazy for Maker, and all of these are going to have a big hurdle rate. See, I do see a world where Aave and Maker go up, but they might just move in line with the DeFi index themselves. So we need a DeFi 1.0 resurgence, and I'd like to remind you, DeFi 1.0 is now in its second cycle. So yes, I think DeFi is a good bet. It's better than trying to gamble on anything else, but you do have second cycle. You We are, we are not going to get the amazing returns of the first cycle. Obviously, my choice to enter these is Link. Just because I like Link's chart, it was done early. And Link as well, right, made a big higher low. I like to see this. You see this part? I like to see this higher low. This is better than all the other pump and dump grips. And I just want to show you Maker's chart, for example. And it's, it is right here, friends. See, Maker's chart up and down, up and down. So you can see like, woohoo, pump, and then dump, like right here. Do you see this? Maker just came all the way back to 2017. Do you remember in the, in the chain link chart, it was a higher low like that? This has just come all the way back down. So it kind of shows you the market doesn't really want to value this. It doesn't see the prospect of this. And of course, th th there are no Maker Marines. So you're looking at this and you're thinking, oh, God, these, these coins sound right, but there's, there's more truth to be discovered. Luckily, you're watching this video. And in the final section of Rand's video, he has this section where he has these questions. And they're good questions to ask, but there's an important thing missing here. So he says, if you want to zoom in, I just want to show you, right? He wants you to think about the network effect, right? Think about the network effect of your coin, okay? Think of your network effect. Does it have a real community? Are there real users? Is it decentralized? Can it survive regulators? Is it actually making money? Now, these sound great on paper, okay? He doesn't have new concept, right? It, it, these sound good on paper. I promise you, look at them, you're like, wow, tick, 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 cross, 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 I'll figure it out. I promise you right now, this ain't gonna serve you poop in crypto, nothing. This is not good for anything. Crypto has nothing to do with this. Crypto is all about network effects. Crypto is about buying low and selling high, which means, which means, let me continue, okay? Buying low, selling high means he is missing the most critical column of all called Price, P, all right? You have to get a discount from the high. All of these can be removed. I swear, you can buy poop in crypto, but if you get a good price, you're gonna outperform everyone. I mean, I just gave you the example of Ethereum, friends. I just showed you with Ethereum, all right? Ethereum, even if you guessed real network, decentralized, even if it ticked all the boxes, if you had a poopy price in Ethereum, if you're buying $700, you are going to get outperformed by somebody who buys absolute junk in the in like a deeper bear market. That's it. That's just how it is. It's very unfortunate it's like this, but this is the truth, friends. So I'm here to convey this message to you. Be careful of this. If you watch all my videos, okay, watch them as much as you can. Absorb them, okay? I'm here making this for you. I'm an outsider like you. I'm here to share with you. I don't put any leverage trading links in front of your face. I don't put anything bad in front of you. If I'm in something, you know about it, okay? That's why I'm open, I'm honest, we're transparent. I'm here to change the game. All these other people, these other influencers out there, right? Not crypto band, but all these other people out there, they're out against us, man. They're out against us. Me and you, we're just viewers to them. We're just a number. They don't care. They're just saying whatever it is. Have you noticed how every 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 two weeks, it's hot new coins to buy? What happened about the coins? What happened with the coins from two months ago? They just forget about it. Or one month ago, okay? We're all about network effects, valuations. And of course, the whole goal is 
to buy low and to sell high, okay? So this is Ethereum, for example. You know me, I love Pulse Chain, I love Link, I love many coins, but I want you to know, I like buying when everyone calls it trash and no one sees the vision. That's when I like to get in because the network effect shift from hatred to love is what actually makes you the money. It's not whether it's censorship resistant or any of this other stuff, okay? So don't be fooled because it's very easy to be fooled. Thank you very much, friends. You are what make these things great. Tell mom and dad we still love them. Like, subscribe, press the bell button and all. I'm going to catch you in the next one.